I can't believe he got me a cheap dress and some crappy flowers. And no limo. What was he thinking? I'm so excited that we're going to the father-daughter dance. Thanks for taking me, Dad. Hello, everyone. It's Jack here. Welcome to our channel. As usual, I will teach you six vocabulary words from dialogue in a life story video. Today's life story is about a girl who demands a limousine to go to a special party. Before we watch the video, let's take a look at the words. The first word is to be a disaster. Next are to show up, to lay off, to be crappy, and to run off. The final word is to be obsessed with. Okay, let's watch the video. Hey, honey. I am so excited about the father-daughter dance tonight. Here you go. I got you a new dress. Thanks, Dad. I'm almost ready. Wait, what is this? Casual 41? I can't be seen wearing a cheap dress from Casual 21. I'm so sorry, honey. I thought you'd like it. Like it? I hate it. All the other girls are going to be wearing designer dresses. And I'm going to be stuck wearing this cheap brand. Thanks a lot, Dad. This is going to ruin everything. I'm so sorry, honey. But at least you have a new dress, right? Some girls probably don't even get that. What does that have anything to do with me? I'm going to go change. Wait here. Okay, sweetie. Wow, you look so beautiful. Yeah, whatever, Dad. Let's just go. Before we go, I bought you this. You've got to be kidding me. This corsage looks so cheap. And there's only like three flowers on it. But I thought that was your favorite flower. Yeah, but all the other girls are going to have six or seven flowers. I wanted something nicer than this. This is seriously turning into such a disaster. But listen, some girls out there, they don't even... Save it, Dad. I won't even wear a corsage, okay? Let's just go. Wait, what is this? I thought we were taking a limo. Oh, well, I thought we could drive to the dance instead. It's not that far. No, I told you I wanted a limousine. All the other girls are going to be taking one, and I can't show up in my dad's car. That's so embarrassing. So where's the limo? I'm sorry, honey. I didn't want to tell you this. But recently, I got laid off from my job, and money has been really tight lately. Dad, please do not tell me you didn't order us a limo. I'm really sorry. I didn't. I can't believe this. First, you buy me this crappy dress. Then, you give me some cheap flowers. And now, you didn't even order me a limo. Honey, a lot of girls out there don't have any of these things. What matters most is that we're together, right? Don't you think you should be grateful for what you have? No. This is seriously the worst night ever. You know what? I don't want to go to this stupid dance anymore. Come on, sweetheart, please. Don't be like that. I hope you know you ruined everything. I just want to be alone right now. Honey. I can't believe he got me a cheap dress and some crappy flowers. And no limo. What was he thinking? I'm so excited that we're going to the father-daughter dance. Thanks for taking me, Dad. You're welcome, sweetheart. Is everything okay? I can tell when you're sad. No, everything's fine. I just wish. Dad, what's wrong? Why are you so sad? I was just... I just feel like such a bad father. I really wanted to make this day very special for you. Dad, what do you mean? Today is special for me. I really wanted you 
to have a new dress. I'm so sorry I couldn't afford one for you. I feel terrible that you have to wear the same dress that you wore last year. Dad, are you kidding? I love this dress. And I wouldn't care if I had to wear the same one again next year, too. Besides, there are some girls that don't even have a dress to wear to the dance. Thank you, honey. I wish I could afford more than one flower for your corsage. I know all the other girls are going to have... Dad, please. I love my corsage, even with one flower. What matters is that you got it for me, not how many flowers it has. Thank you, sweetheart. I just wish we didn't have to take the bus. I wish I had a car that I could drive you to the dance in. Dad, I'm happy to take the bus. Do you know why? Because I'm with you. The dress, the corsage, the car, none of that matters. What matters is that we're together. I'm grateful for what I have. Honey, what did I do to deserve a daughter like you? I love you very much. I love you too, Dad. Dad? Lisa, you're home. I was so worried about you, sweetie. Yeah, I shouldn't have run off like that. I feel so bad about everything. I just wanted this night to be special for you, and I didn't want to ruin it. So, I ordered us a limousine. Really, Dad? But how? I thought you couldn't afford it. Yeah, well, I use my credit card. And once I find another job, I'll be able to pay it off. Actually, Dad, I don't need a limo to take us to the dance. But I don't understand. I thought that's what you wanted. It was, uh, but not anymore. I'm really sorry, Dad, about everything. Yeah, I feel so bad about what I said earlier. I just got so obsessed with the dress, the flowers, and the limo that I forgot about the one thing that really matters. Having you, Dad. Do you think you can forgive me? Of course, sweetie. I'm so proud of you. I can't tell you how much this means to me. So, what should I do about the limo? You can go ahead and cancel it, Dad. I'm more than happy with you driving me to the dance. And with my three flowers, I'm grateful for everything I have. Oh, sweetheart, I love you so much. I love you too, Dad. Now let's go. I would love that. This is seriously turning into such a disaster. To be a disaster. It means a situation that causes damage or death. It also means an unhappy moment. The examples. News of the disaster shocked the whole world. It would be a disaster for me if I lost my job. All the other girls are going to be taking one, and I can't show up in my dad's car. To show up. It means to arrive, usually where someone is waiting for you. The examples. I waited for her, but she never showed up. Eric showed up apologizing for being late. But recently... I got laid off from my job. To lay off. It means to ask someone to stop working because of a bad economic situation in a company. The examples. The company laid off 250 workers in December. Millions of people have been laid off in the steel industry. First, you buy me this crappy dress. Then, you give me some cheap flowers. To be crappy. It means to be unpleasant or of very bad quality. The examples. It's been a crappy meeting, so I'm going to bed early. 
he had a series of crappy jobs. Yeah, I shouldn't have run off like that. To run off. It means to leave suddenly and unexpectedly. The examples. She ran off before I had a chance to talk to her. Anne's husband ran off and left her with two children to bring up. I just got so obsessed with the dress, the flowers. To be obsessed with. It means to think or worry about something all the time. The examples. Why are people so obsessed with money? The kids are obsessed with video games. Well, that's it. I'd hope you can start using these words. Hit the thumbs up if you liked our video. Make sure you subscribe to continue to improve your vocab. Thanks for watching. See you later.